Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Suzanne. Today's video is going to be on this look. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please subscribe and let's begin. First, I'm going to prime my skin and this is the Ilamasca Hydra Gel Primer and this is like a clear gel. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the NYX Bear With Me Primer. It, uh, it has a tacky finish to it so it grips your makeup really nicely. Next, I'm going to use this foundation by Arbonne, and this is in the shade Honey Beige. This has a medium coverage, it has a natural finish, it's really pretty on the skin, and also has uh, SPF 15. They have so many shades to choose from. Um, I do like it for an everyday wear. Uh, it's really lightweight on the skin. Uh, you have to be a consultant or you have to know a consultant to get Arbonne products. Um, I do really enjoy them. Next, I'm going to use MAC Cosmetics uh, Concealer. This is called Studio Fix 24-Hour uh, Smooth Wear. Um, it has a medium buildable coverage. It has a natural matte finish. Um, I do enjoy it, but to be honest, I really love the Prolong Wear Concealer better than this one. But if you have um, combo oily skin, you will love this one. And now I'm going to set my under eyes and the T-zone as well. This is Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. This really is one of my favorite. I always repurchase this one. It makes your under eyes really, really smooth. Next, I'm using a darker foundation, which I really love this tone. This is Shiseido Radiant uh, Foundation. This is in the shade 160. I really like to apply it on the cheeks as a bronzer. So if you apply powder to the whole face, I prefer to do this before my powder, but because I just set my under eyes and my T-zone, so I can go with a liquid foundation. This is darker, two, three shades darker than my skin, so it's really nice as a bronzer. And it's also a foundation, so it gives you a little bit more coverage on the the cheek area but it blends beautifully on the skin and I'm not contouring or anything with this I'm just bronzing and making my skin look warm and I'm just contouring a little bit my nose next I'm going to use this NARS bronzer uh, I'm not too sure of this name uh, I'm just gonna list it down below for you guys uh, I'm just gonna set the foundation in place where I applied the bronzer and I'm just going to clean a bit under the cheek area as well next I'm going to use Natasha Denona uh, palette this is the bloom palette and I'm just gonna use that highlighter shade to highlight my cheekbones and a little bit on the nose and also on the forehead as well. I always do that. So whatever it's left on the brush, I just go over my forehead and chin area. I'm going to use that cream blush from the same palette. It's really, really pretty. It has a peachy, a little bit of pink uh, finish to it. It's really nice on the skin. Uh, it gives you a dewy uh, finish as well. And I'm going to go with the powder now and I'm just going to set that cream blush. I'm just concealing my eyelids with the same concealer I used from MAC. This is the Warm Brown Obsession Palette. This is from Huda Beauty and I'm just going to use that light um, soft brown color as my crease shade. And I'm using Japanese Blending Brush. And now I'm going to move to that orange shade and I'm just going to apply the same way I applied the first uh, color and I'm just going back and forth with the brush circular motion I'm not too precise with these two shades that I applied and I always keep a clean brush to blend the edges so there are no harsh lines Next, I'm taking that dark brown in the palette and I'm just going to take it on the uh, edges of my eyes. Uh, so I prepare it for a darker shade.
And I'm just taking the Smoky Obsession palette by Huda Beauty and I'm taking the black and the dark uh, chocolate brown color and I'm just going to smudge it in the outer corner of my eyes. So I'm patting the color and then circular motion and blending that out with the same brush. I just want it to be a little bit smoky on the outer corner and I'm not taking that color at all to my crease. Next, I'm going to use Foil Play by NYX Cosmetics. This is a palette called Magnetic Pull, and I'm taking that beautiful, gorgeous, bluish shade. Um, it's a mix of blue and silver, a little bit of dark green color. I'm not sure what color it is. It's really, really pretty. I'm just going to apply it all over the lid. I'm just taking it a little bit higher so you can see the color because I have hooded eyes. And I'm taking another NYX palette. This is called Limit Love. And I'm just using that blue silvery color. And I'm just going to pop it right there, just in the upper lid, closer to the inner uh, corner. And I'm just going to smoke the lower lash line as well with the same eyeshadows that I used in my crease area. I'm just going to take a little bit of that black color from the Smoky Obsession palette. And I'm just going to pop it in the lower lash line just to make it smoky. And I'm going back to that shade. I'm just going to apply it right in the ear duct just to make it a little bit more bright. And I'm taking another color from the Limit Love. Uh, I'm just going to pop it in the inner corner. I used a Cult Liner by Sephora in the shade Black. And and I just popped it in the inner rim and I'm using Kevin Kwan brow pencil and this is in the shade Burnett. I really like this one because it's waxy and it's very pigmented and it's easy to use. I really love it. It holds my eyebrows in place. Next, I'm going to use uh, a liquid lipstick from The Balm Cosmetics, and this is in the shade Trustworthy. I really love how warm and deep this color is. And I'm just going to pop my eyelashes, and this is the finished look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe for more videos, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.